guys, if you're like me, then on your TrueNAS installation, you've got a couple of jails that run uh, different applications that help automate some of your home. So for example, you might run uh, radar, sonar, uh, maybe some jacket clients, uh, sync thing to sync your, your phone to your NAS for some backups. And eventually you're going to need to upgrade those apps to the latest version. So that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna take a look at how you would upgrade those apps in, in the jail. So the first step is we just log into our TrueNAS installation. And then on the left hand side, we'll see the option for jails. So we'll see all of my uh, jails listed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the very first one, the Jacket Media. We're going to upgrade the packages that are installed there. So just hit the little uh, menu or the arrow button on the right hand side, and that'll expand the menu. And then we hit the shell button and that brings us to the command line for the jail itself so this is where we'll run all those commands to do the the update so the the, uh, the command that we're going to run is package update and package upgrade and that will take all of the packages in the installation and bring it up to the latest version with a couple of commands so i'm going to leave those commands in the description of the video but what you'll find here is when you're trying to paste the uh, content of those commands directly into the command line if you hit your right mouse button, you get prompted with a pop-up menu that says that you're not able to copy and paste directly into the menu. There's no problem there though. What you do here is you just hit shift and then insert, and then you get your, your command uh, in, inserted directly into the uh, command line. So we'll just hit enter here. And we can see we've got a couple of packages that need to be updated. Having a quick look at them, they all look like packages we want to upgrade. So we'll just hit yes to confirm. And it will just go through line by line and do a couple of those updates. So what we're going to do after this uh, update is we're going to restart the service itself. Now restarting the service uh, is not always strictly necessary, but to make sure that you're running the latest version, it's always really good practice to do that. So the command that we are going to use to do that is going to be service jacket restart. Jacket being the name of the service itself that you're trying to restart. We're going to do Jacket here, but for other services, it might be called Radar, it might be called uh, Torrent, it might be called something else. So it's service, service name, restart. And you'll see that command that we'll be running now in, in just one second. And now that it's uh, fetched all of the upgrades, it's going to ask me whether or not it wants to apply the upgrade. I'm just going to hit yes and it will take a second or two to do that. All right, guys, with the power of YouTube editing, we are just here where all of the packages have been updated and upgraded. So after we've done that, what we want to do is just type in service and then jacket, which is the name of my service, and then restart to just restart the service itself. Uh, this jacket line, as I said before, you just want to replace that with the name of the service that you're trying to restart. Here we're restarting jacket, so we've typed in jacket. And it can tell me that it's stopped the jacket service, uh, and then it started the jacket service again. So that's it. We'll be running the latest version of all of the packages on this jail. Hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if possible, I would ask that you be able to do the YouTube dance then, which is like, comment, and subscribe the video. Really helps out the channel. Just let me know if there's anything else that we want to talk about on the support side. Otherwise, catch you on the flip side.